Ion implantation. Ion implantation is a low temperature process by which ions of one element are accelerated into a solid target, thereby changing the physical, chemical, or electrical properties of the target. Ion implantation equipment typically consists of an ion source, where ions of the desired element are produced, an accelerator, where the ions are electrostatically accelerated to a high energy, and a target chamber, where the ions impinge on a target, which is the material to be implanted. Each ion is typically a single atom or molecule, and thus the actual amount of material implanted in the target is the integral over time of the ion current. The energy of the ions, as well as the ion species and the composition of the target determine the depth of penetration of the ions in the solid, a monoenergetic ion beam will generally have a broad depth distribution. The first major segment of an ion beam line includes a device known as an ion source to generate the ion species. The source is closely coupled to biased electrodes for extraction of the ions into the beam line and most often to some means of selecting a particular ion species for transport into the main accelerator section. The mass selection is often accompanied by passage of the extracted ion beam through a magnetic field region with an exit path restricted by blocking apertures, or slits, that allow only ions with a specific value of the product of mass and velocity forward slash charge to continue down the beam line. Ion implantation can be used to achieve ion beam mixing, i.e. mixing up atoms of different elements at an interface. Because ion implantation causes damage to the crystal structure of the target which is often unwanted, ion implantation processing is often followed by a thermal annealing. Yet try arm ion implantation into sapphire at an ion beam energy of 150 keV to a fluence of 5 asterisk 1016 y per square centimeter produces an amorphous glassy layer approximately 110 nm in thickness, measured from the outer surface. The result is that the range of an ion can be much longer if the ion travels exactly along a particular direction, for example the 110 direction in silicon and other diamond cubic materials. High voltage power supplies used in ion accelerators necessary for ion implantation can pose a risk of electrical injury, 28373 the 8A32.